Today we're making an antique distressed mirror. This is what we call our 50-50 project. It should take less than 50 minutes and cost less than 50 bucks. I love oval mirrors. You do? Yes, so All I'm right. super stoked. We're two for two here. <laughs> so let's put on our gloves. Okay. Let everyone grab a pair there. Thank you. We are going to flip our mirror over. Okay. And we're going to remove the frame. There we go. Okay. Let's put that to the side. So now we have the mirror, and you see it's backed with right. a coat of paint. We need to remove that okay. with the paint stripper. And we're just going to apply it nice and even all over the back of the mirror. That looks and sufficiently spread. glopped to me. Okay. Yes. So the thing about the mirror stripper is that we have to let it set, and then we're going to scrape all the paint off. Okay. okay. All right, well, I think this has had enough time to set. So our next step is to take a plastic scraper and scrape all the paint off of the back of the all mirror. All right. Destruction. OK, here we go. <laughs> now, Amy, what other color hair have you had? What other color hair haven't I had <laughs> is really the question, Matt. After going through chemo and losing all your hair and everything like that, you sort of realize hair really isn't that important. And so you just want to have fun with it. Have fun in life. Have fun with your hair. Have fun with the way you look. Be who you are. I love that. All right, I think we've got it as far okay. as we can. Next, okay. we're going to apply a patina solution to the back of the mirror, and that's what's actually going to pull away the reflective material. Because we are working with the patina solution, we should wear masks. Okay. okay. This is the part where we've got to think like a restoration expert, right? Okay. How would an aged mirror look? I think another cool effect you can do is to kind of splatter it on. Oh, all right. So as you can see, when you apply the patina solution, it really eats away at the reflective it surface does. very quickly. If you want to stop it from doing that as quickly, you can immediately follow it with a spray of regular water. Who knew Denise was not only handy, oh, but an artist? <laughs> That's the first time I've ever been called that. All right, I think we are good here. Okay. So we'll just dab any excess wetness. Okay. So our next step is to paint the back with metallic paint. So let's grab a brush. And then we'll just oh, paint it on. I like the nice silver. Think about the brush strokes and the textures you're going to create, because you will see it come through on the other side. OK. Oh. So because the metallic paint is a little translucent, we really do want to apply some kind of opaqueness to the back of the mirror. Um, we're just going to hit it with a little black spray paint. So what's so cool about this project is you can take something new and give it an old antiqued effect with just a few simple steps. All right, the last step is to just plop it back in our frame. Right oh in. Oh my gosh, that looks so cool. Oh, and look, we still look terrific in here. Get in here, Denise. Look at that. Hey guys. All right. <laughs>